Hey guys, what's up? Back with some more Persona 5. Uh, we're about to finish the main game. Nothing is waiting up ahead. This will most likely be our final. Are you ready, Joker? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm ready. If not, we'll just okay. load from the same point. I guess that was the first question to ask. Welcome up. Oh. I vaguely remember this fight. I remember we fight on top of the skyscraper, pretty much. At least in the final phase. Oh, fancy. Oh yeah, it's Igor. Thank you, Igor. Why do you mere humans still dare oppose me? Stop acting like you're some kind of god. You're just a treasure. You're just a treasure. Single soul. How do you think it is that I became a god to begin with? What is that supposed to mean? The freedom not to choose. The freedom not to think. If every person pushed the burdens of their lives upon others, nobody would have to act for themselves. And who should be there to receive those burdens? This guy. Are you saying that's you? Precisely. Humanity itself wished for the Holy Grail to be a god that would rule over them. Oh, if you continue to reject that border, there will no longer be a place for you in this world. And? And? So you wish to reject me, even if it means foregoing praise from those you want to say. We don't let what others think hold us down anymore! That's right! If you are not going to obey, then you shall suffer yet again. I shall bring down the hammer of judgment upon you who dare disrupt my world order. Oh. to strike me. the desires of the masses I give life to their voices Fear me. that's why you're cheating it's a lot of healing if we don't do something about those blood pumping supply line things this will never end it's not our opponent knows that too though it'll try and stop us if we go straight for them We'll need to send someone in to cut the lines. Then, while they're out, everyone else will have to keep attacking to distract the Holy Grail. I'm gonna give those red things a good slice. A slice. Mm, we need to stop the Holy Grail from healing. Should I send someone? I can go whenever. I will do this. Allow me. Mm -hmm. I'll go. I can go whenever. I will do this. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll go. What questions do we need to keep? Uh, I will do this. Allow me. Uh, so use Kago. So I'm pretty sure Haru has salvation. I will do this. So she can keep her as a healer. Um, but I feel like Yusuke is a stronger one that does the most damage, like does more damage than Ryuji. But uh, Ryuji just has a lot of HP. Right, let's, let's go ahead and. Don't apply. Look at that magic stat. <laughs> it's just like st stupidly high. Oh yeah, it's because my gun has a uh, plus 15 magic, which is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna charge. So I'll say I don't think it really matters. If we do anything to start, this can heal itself. How's this? I don't think it has any weaknesses either. 
stop. Ow. Ow. Now what else can we do? Look at my magic at 93. That's on my amp. That is crazy. 93. The dick monster. Let's see, where's that guy that has both Almighty Amp and Blue? So this guy. I feel like this one will still be stronger. That'd be crazy if I just one shot it. <laughs> no, it's impossible. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with magic, I mean. Because I think it's just gotta heal. Good. Maybe not. <laughs> you scared. Um, I think, I think I just want to use God's hand. So I think this is for if I want to crit. So let me just. Oh, so much power. I think it's gonna heal though. immortality. Oh my. Don't waste your breath. I will sever them. Do it. Nice. It worked. How's that? How's that? I am no longer receiving the strength of the inmates. You incarnate rebels. Rebels. This will be a head to head fight from now on. Take it down. I am thou. I am thou. You want Brave Blade. Prepare yourself. Oh. Can I finish? Match my heal. No surprises. Uh oh. The enemy's charging. It's going to be a big one. It's not big enough, though. Finish. <laughs> Thirty one hundred. That did more than when he charged. Okay. I think there should have been a phase two with the hands. I don't know. It's the first time I'm actually this powerful, so. Hey, we did get him, yeah? Oracle! Oh. Uh, what does this character funny, say? But I don't know. It's definitely not dead. I'm trying to think how much HP it had. Dude. Four... 7,500? Some of that. Oh. I'm not finding its true form. And this is kind of what I remembered. Standing on it. I am the administrator. Lord administrator. The God of Control. Yalda Bow. Oh. <laughs> Yalda Bow. It's like a building. It was already huge 
back when it was the Holy Grail. The administrator must guide mankind toward proper development. And now that the foolishness of man has been proven, it is the administrator's duty to purge them. You kidding? This is just some kind of rigged game you started! <laughs> The foolish mass has merely spread into their thoughts and forced the progress of society backward. If left to humanity, the world would slowly meet its demise. Rehabilitation is impossible now. Possible. That doesn't mean humans are evil, though. Indeed. There are many upstanding citizens. However, they merely take the soul path before them. The act of making decisions is accompanied by nothing but pain. Even if a cliff of ruin lay ahead, these lemmings would march onward without a second thought. Bullshit! You're just forcing your selfish ideas on people! For a god, you're pretty damn prejudiced. If this is all for the sake of humanity, would it being beaten by humans satisfy you? I am the entity which governs this world. Its future depends wholly on my leadership. Those who dare defy this natural order shall be met with punishment raining down from the heavens. Heavens. defeat something like him this is the best possible outcome we're fighting against a god who's not holding anything back right what bigger target could there be for the phantom thieves to tackle it's kind of true although it's still way too big for my liking <laughs> all right i'll give the navigation everything i've got we can do this if we all work together let's take him down Take him down. Crowning our glory by defeating a god. Now that is true art. We basically just gotta beat that thing, right? Man, you guys are the best, stupidest <laughs> group I could ask for. I'm so glad I was able to be a part of your team. It's not over yet. You're right. We'll take it all back. Our future? This world. Hmm. Oh. What the hell this? Rebels who dare defy my rule, you shall perish. This guy's behind every. Uh, I see. I did not heal. Let's go ahead and reapply this. Um, wait, it's the all enemies? It's all those. We have one guy though. Let's just do this. Eat this. Oh, it's pretty buff. Take this. Huh? I appreciate it. Alright, it's not bad. Well, I'm gonna do it again. Go and charge. Uh, we can't charge with... Yeah, you know, let's do medium. You got an amp up in here. Nice. I release upon you the deadly sin of lust. Oh. You have no means of escaping humans. The insanity of mankind shall bring forth the demise. Um. <laughs> what? Grew an arm? And it has a gun? Has a gun? 
Uh oh. No, I'm got charmed. What is this attack? One of mankind's deadly sins? Don't let your guard down until we know what it does. Make sure it charms, which makes her attack us. Uh, does charm count as non-special? Yes. It doesn't. <laughs> no. It's a surge of lust. The fantasies are blocking everything out. Let's see if this works. Nice. Both that hits. Oh no. The lust effect might keep you from moving. Uh I think you need to replenish Joker's SP. Let's do that. Master. With beauty and grace. This one. This one. It's a surge of lust. The fantasies are blocking everything out. Everything? Hey! Now's not the time to get this. Ruin. So now again. It's a bell. Another one. Does it have a bell? Be careful. We have no idea what it'll do. What? He's doing a different attack. Oh, it's different probably like scene. Madarame's thing. <laughs> Why do you keep a uh, hitting a? Uh, her with that. Leave her alone. So I think maybe I should use the one with 90 something. Probably I don't get hit by nuke though. Uh, sure. It's like stamp. Can't stop me. Um, it's just colossal damage. And we'll just keep having Haru heal us. Allow me. I appreciate. Sorry. Hey, what's up, monkey kid? This fight was so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember playing it during the original Sona 5, but this is my first time playing through um, Royal. But I am super uh, grinded out, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be fairly easy. A sword this time. Sword. And I'm happy you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Hopefully your year's been going well. Skill cost me doubled. Another no. One? It looks like this is how his main body attacks. He may keep switching up his moves. Let's be careful. Yeah, you know, this kind of reminds me of uh, Persona 3, actually, a little bit. Watch out when you use your persona. Just, just, just the fact that it uh, keeps switching different. Um, what's it called? Well, in Persona 3, they switch to different uh, Arcanas. And attack this, so it's kind of similar to that. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You're mine. Oh no, I think I just killed myself. Oh nice, I didn't just kill myself. <laughs> that been so bad. Uh, looks like it. Strong and immune to physical Looks phys uh, yeah, physical. I would be sad if I just killed myself there. What? It reflects everything. Just gonna reflect everything. Okay. 
once like ice works. Uh, I should probably heal. As much as I want to attack. Healing so much though, it's because it's double skill cost thing. Right, I'm gonna risk it. I need to push it to the next phase. Skill cost should turn to normal. Okay, cool. Counters and the double damage buff saved my life in this fight. Like after 20 tries. Yeah, I don't remember my first run of this game. I was back in like. Pretty sure I played it before Final Fantasy 15 came out, actually. That's a book. This one has a book! <laughs> this one has a book! What's gonna rage us? Why does it always <laughs> hit a uh, Paru with that? It's so funny. <laughs> so leave Paru alone. Um, Salvation costs so much, but. What's 40, right? 48? I think this is better. Let's go do that. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah. Should I try to god hand the book? This is my other self. Ah. Flex ice. Okay. Uh, let's just see if this gets reflected. Oh wait. How did I get to move even though I'm... Enraged? Hold on, hear yourself. It's the gun. For some reason I thought uh, Haru got enraged. Maybe she did, but for some reason I was able to... How was that? Paralysis. He's down. Hungry. Uh, I put on the buff again. All right. I should probably heal my dude. Kind do of execution. Uh, let's do this again. Destroy that gun. That should really heal. So it's 200. 200 is not enough. Maybe it's good enough. So it's HP of all allies. I should probably do the full heal. Time for this. Nice. Guess we can do this. Manifest Bell. At least it only, um, like revives it to half HP, like these extra appendages. Aha! Oh yeah, I'm already hungry. <laughs> Ooh. Not bad. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit him with something big. Mm, this this guy. Is that my highest attack power? 69? Yeah, my <laughs> magic's so high. Yeah, looks like 69 is the highest. Uh, let me just charge. 
Yeah, just do this. Destroy the bell. Oh, I didn't destroy the bell. No, we can destroy the bell now, though. Next turn should do it, I think. Oh, he's cheating. <laughs> what? It's hella cheating. The abyss of the unconscious yearns for ultimate ruin. You have no means of escape, humans. Punishment shall strike you all as you pass through the gates of destruction. Divine Apex. I don't like that. I'm assuming I should guard that. <laughs> spike in energy! Yeah, definitely can't finish this off now. Alright, we're guarding. What? <laughs> it didn't do it yet. Well, let's see what happens. I didn't realize it'll take two turns. Please don't die. <laughs> I'd be so sad. No. Okay. Nice. Not bad. Uh, honestly, I feel like attacking again with Joker. And then, uh, everyone else can heal. Is this my strongest magic? I believe so. See something. Is Don't do I don't have no HP. <laughs> that sucks. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm beat chain again, I think. There. I mean, definitely needs to destroy some of their other arms, though. So. Uh, I think that's okay, because we do block Prepare ice, yourself. our use cave blocks ice. At least resist it. Yeah. Behold. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice. Counter. Nah, he'll probably die, so let's go ahead and do this. The book returned to normal. Right, we can actually probably kill. I have no HP left. Is it dead? It's dead. Did we do it? Did we do it? No, not yet. A what? My control shall not bow down to ruin. My control is the ultimate truth of this world. He's cheating. <laughs> He's cheating. Because you can't do that, aren't you? So that you can flaunt your own existence. That's why you were observing us. You had to because the reaction of the masses worried you. <laughs> that sounds about right. I don't know how long you lived, but you're the perfect example of a pain in the ass old man. <laughs> pain in the ass. <laughs> you find people like that everywhere. What? <laughs> Damn it! 
left. I can't see anything. Do you want to erase us from this world that much? Guys! Since you've been forsaken by the world, there is nowhere that you can belong. Cheater. My strength. I can't go on. Is this it? Not even one sliver of unpredictability can be permitted under my control. I guess it was impossible in the end. <laughs> I guess it was impossible in the end. So I was waiting for Kasumi to make an appearance, but I guess not. Is like not on my watch. Yeah, the policeman's like, have I've accepted down. my fate. Sir, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> Better an officer. She's kind of just. <laughs> it's no use. It's like I should have retired. situation like this no it's impossible there's no way take it down phantom yeah what's up, <laughs> what's up with this one this guy is crazy yeah come on why do you think they risked their lives all this time Damn it, you guys! Snap out of it! When will you stop running from the truth? Phantom thieves. Yes, the Phantom, Phantom thieves. thieves. Phantom thieves. Phantom thieves. Phantom thieves. Can you hear us? Are you someone who's been charmed by the Phantom Thieves, too? I sure am. Sure am. Is the true for you, too? Pretty much. <laughs> Looks like it's not just us, though. Hey. I'm not letting you lose after getting this far. You better finish what you've started. It may not look like it, but I've got high hopes for you guys. You better win this. The win if I cheer them on? Then I'll cheer them on as much as they need. 
You've stolen the hearts of this many people. I won't let you lose. I can tell that you are all capable of standing up against any kind of fate. You all are truly causing a revolution right now. Go! Look forward and keep fighting. You taught me that after all. I cheered you guys on all this time. <laughs> all this I'm time. Gonna keep at it. You are our last hope. I beg you, finish this. That's you guys' fault. I don't know when to quit either. Get back up. <laughs> don't lose to that thing. Don't lose to that thing. No matter what anyone says, I believe in you guys. Go for it, Phantom Thieves. I'm counting on you, everyone. I will believe in you to the very end. Wait, I think Sai becomes a uh, like automatic confidant. You hear that? Those are the voices of the humans you made fun or, uh, of. No one wants you to rule over Max them. out uh, the, her Isn't rank, right? regardless. Yeah, all the other ones though. I think we have to max out their ranks for them to appear. In that cutscene. Why do they got a word I like they're looking down on us? But they're cheering for us. <laughs> Doesn't feel bad. You're not done changing the world. You don't have to tell us twice. We won't let ourselves be erased. We're going all out, damn it. God is the one who creates the world. I've made up my mind. I will see my justice through for the sake of protecting what I care about. We're gonna. The same goes for you guys, too. If you've decided to take the world from him, don't compromise your ideals to the very end. Let's defeat him together. We can do it. Hey, God. Those <laughs> humans are praying down there. They're praying there's no place for someone like you in this world. Give that evil God his final warning. You mess with the wrong thieves. And well, we're saving this world. Hundred <laughs> percent. Hell yeah. We all just ascended. We get our send back. Break the chains of rebellion, or whatever it was. Wait, don't we get like world? Confidant ranks, or something? Is that a thing? So you have failed to harness the power. No matter how many prayers of those foolish masses come together. No. What the? Oh. 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 <laughs> so he summoned a Megazord. So it's supposed to be Arsene. Ascended. Mega Arsene or something. <laughs> I love how we have our own god now. That's... Man, it's huge! What an immense power! No way. Is it a persona? I don't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> Immortal. <laughs> Super demon lord. If a god plays naughty, then it's a demon lord's <laughs> duty to punish him. Punish him, bad boy. What better way is there for a finale as a trickster? Nice. Joker, we're entrusting our strength and the people's hopes to you. Put an end to this. Pillage him. Pillage him. Sinful shell. A boy made from the seven deadly sins can pierce even a gun. Finish him. They have a new wish now. Damn, paired shot. You're so OP from battling Reaper that I didn't even manage to enjoy this fight mechanically? No. Yeah, my first playthrough in the regional Persona 5. I don't even remember fighting the Reaper actually, now that I think about it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I struggled the first time I fought this guy. But I think it took me like three tries. And to beat it, because yeah, Persona 5 original didn't really let you... Well, I guess it did let you grind, but it doesn't... it's not as fast as this game, for sure. This one still gave you goosebumps. Just... Yeah, that shot was killer. <laughs> Pun intended. I do love how... At least in this game, they pulled in other tricksters from the other personas that you can summon. So I wonder if this, like, super uh, trickster persona will be, like, put in the next Persona 6 as, like, I don't know, DLC or something. That'd be crazy. Uh, the Thorough Trickster. The chalice. Holy grail. Is that a treasure? Right, Mona? Thanks for everything, gang. Mona chan? What? You're leaving us. Mona? Humans have the power to change the world. They just forgot about that a bit. Hey. Thanks to you guys. I was able to complete my duty. Everything was thanks to you. Wasn't it, Morgana? Thank you. You know, you kept telling me to go to sleep. I got to be useful <laughs> for humans that I admired so much. Nothing could make me happier. This place will soon disappear, too. Time to go home. What is this? So, royal time. Yeah, I pretty much don't remember anything about the ending. So, if this is like new to royal, then cool. <laughs> but if this happened in the original too, then I just don't remember it. Looks like the rain stopped. Hey guys, what? What? Okay, <laughs> so that's so it did happen in the original. Yeah. Let's gonna have to Morgana. Or if Morgana's gonna turn into just a cat. I don't remember. My word. Why is everything? The whole world is a product of cognition. 
Not just the metaverse. It can be freely remade. The same goes for you and everyone else. <laughs> no, Morgana. Dude, Mona. Mona, -chan. this can't be happening. <laughs> oh, what? Soon a new world will come. One where mankind isn't held captive. The world will shine brightly as long as you hold hope in your hearts. But what's going to happen to you? no such thing as the real world. What each person sees and feels, those are what shape reality. This is what gives the world infinite potential. Even if you feel that only darkness lies ahead, as long as you hold hands together, see it through as one, the world will never end. The world exists within all of you. Okay, <laughs> is, that, is that it? Oh. Morgana. Huh. Mona. The Metanav. It's gone. The Mentos must have disappeared too. We can't see Mona anymore. Can we? We can't grind either. <laughs> Who knows? It's fine. I already know the answer. What are y'all so gloomy for? Mona would laugh at us for it. That reminds me. What about the public? Were we able to change their hearts? I'm gonna be late for my date! <laughs> That's a alone on Christmas, huh? It's kinda hard to tell. Aren't we going into the new year without a prime minister? Will this country be alright? <laughs> but there's no way we're getting Shido. There are tons of shady rumors uh. about him, you know? I wonder how things will go. I hope they go well. Let's believe in the adults. Sis promised us, after all. From here on out, it's the prosecutor's job, huh? If we can't enter the metaverse, that means we've been relieved of being phantom thieves. It feels a bit sad. I'm gonna go back to being normal teenagers. What did I just say? We gotta stop being so gloomy. Think about that insane ass we just kicked. <laughs> the right. ass. We should be celebrating with a victory toast. Well, we're still high schoolers, so we can't really drink a real toast. Oh, what if we tried something else? Like, what do athletes do after a win? Mm, poor bunch of Gatorade on <laughs> the coach. We could all circle up and give a victory shout together. Sounds good. Except for the part where we're in the dead center of Shibuya, <laughs> surrounded by tons of people. What? You want to do it here and now? Come on, Ryuji, get with the program. I too am disappointed. After all we've been through together, you've nothing left to lose with this. Mm. Hey, speak for yourself. I've got tons of shit I could lose. Fine, let's get this over with. Everyone, put your hands in. Don't you think this is a little too overt? Yeah, uh, can we hurry this up? <laughs> I don't mind yelling, so long as we make it quick. I think, uh... Well, the celebration is going great. <sighs> Whatever. Joker, you lead off with this. Hip hip. <laughs> it's like, got it. Mm. Hip hip, hooray. It would natural for you to take the charge. When he gives our victory cry, we all follow with a super loud, yeah! Got yeah! It? All right. One, two. We captured your hearts. We did it. Yeah. That was weak. <laughs> weak sauce. <sighs> that actually made me feel a bit better. It's like everything's finally over. You may be right there. The more I think about it, the more pressure I realize we were really under. I hope we can relax at least a little now. <sighs> Oh yeah, it's snowing. It's snowing. No wonder it's cold. 
Is this what they call a white Christmas? It's still Christmas Eve. Christmas. I completely forgot about it. Anyhow, we'll have to see what happens for now. We should probably break for today. Let's meet at LeBlanc tomorrow and have a final meeting on the situation. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Hey, it'll be Christmas, so why don't we do a last celebration party? I like the sound of that. There better not be anyone that's got plans already. It's settled then. Make sure you persuade Boss to let us reserve the store for boss. the party. Mm, sure thing. We will be counting on you. Well then, see you all again tomorrow. I'm worried about Sojiro, so I'm gonna head home. <sighs> we should go home too. Let's keep it going. So that is the ending of the main game. Now on to the royal stuff. Actual royal stuff. I didn't expect to find the world savior alone on Christmas Eve. What? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. First off, thank you for taking my request. With your actions, I can only hope that public opinion changes. It will change, won't it? Uh, we'll find out. True. It was social reform on a scale no one has ever accomplished before. But I believe that it will. Shido confessed to a variety of crimes. We can arrest him on those charges. The problem lies in proving him guilty. It'd be difficult unless the correlation between the metaverse and the mental shutdowns is made. I'll be blunt. I want you to turn yourself in to the police. Oh, what? Why? <laughs> Your testimony will be necessary in order to prove Shido guilty. However, that will mean placing you on center stage. You'll be treated as a hero who saved this country. But there's no way that the police or the public prosecutors will let that slide. We're bad, man. <laughs> if you turn yourself into the police, you'll definitely be arrested. I'll close all the cases surrounding Shido. I intend to expose them all. It's to prevent society from becoming distorted again. That's what you want too, isn't it? Sounds like my testimony is necessary for them to find Shido guilty. But there's no knowing what the police will do. They'll never let a phantom thief be the hero. If I take the stand and testify about Shido's crimes, everything can be taken care of. But before that... I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. There's no need for that. Oh. You. You. If they get their hands on the perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn himself in, no? I get you, you're alive. But how? To think I get to see you so surprised. <laughs> Honestly, That's because we let him live. You said there's no need. Just what do you mean by that? I'm exactly the accomplice. As it sounds. I'll agree to testify against Shido and his crimes. I assume that works for you? <laughs> You're turning yourself in? That's right. I have no hidden agenda at this point. If I had to explain myself, I'd say it's simply personal principle that I repay my debts. For the time being, at least, I'll take your word that you'll cooperate with the investigation. That would save a lot of time. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can forget everything I just told you. I'll take them in myself. I won't try to claim that everything will turn out perfectly for you. But I would bet this case will reach its natural conclusion. No, in fact, I swear that this will be properly settled. I'm kind of curious what would happen if we let Akechi die or whatever. Shido and the masses have undergone a change of heart, and the case is headed towards its resolution. And this must be how things were supposed to happen. 
<laughs> uh, what are you up to? I just got a message from Futaba saying she'll be coming over. Hurry up and come help us out at the store. All right. Okay, I'll be waiting. I should head home. It's the same every year. So much for business. <laughs> Nobody's gonna come to this rundown cafe. Dude, Christmas. Guess I'll close early then. <laughs> Not that I have the money to go out anywhere. Then we should have a party here. Come on, Sojiro. I want a turkey. A <laughs> turkey. Didn't you hear me? I don't have the cash. I don't got money Shit for turkey. Goddamn henchmen. <laughs> they really had to come in here and wreck my business. I should send him a bill. Anyway, if you're here, I take it you're spending this Christmas alone? Yeah. <laughs> Turkey is my one true love. Yeah, we don't have a girlfriend yet because we haven't been able to romance Asumi. So what if I am? Sojiro, cut him some slack. We're busy. Poor lonely sap. <laughs> Poor lonely sap. So we're busy saving Sojiro! the world. I can't spend what I don't have. Uh, we just have to pitch in. I can't believe I've got a kid worrying about my financial situation. <laughs> hey, Futaba, go buy some snacks or something. We'll have that party after all. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> so how much was that? No way that's gonna be enough. It's like 20 bucks, no 10 bucks. <sighs> Futaba's like a totally different person now. Just a short while ago, she couldn't even step foot outside her room. Mm, Futaba's a strong girl. Well, that's thanks to you, Sojiro. That's not true. You're the one who gave her the opportunity to change. Hmm. By the way, you holding up okay? If you need anything. Uh, can you stop loving? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, everything going on with you and the Phantom Thieves. I'm back. No, not enough for a turkey. Hey, or is that a turkey? Well, I'm home. That was quick. Did you get a turkey? Like I could buy one with that pocket change you gave me? Cheapo Sojiro. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I guess we'll order out then. <laughs> we got a turkey somehow. Sojiro, isn't it incredible? Well, wait, is that a turkey? We did get something like that. I'll reveal my secret later. We ought to get this party started right away. We <laughs> <laughs> even got a cake too. Cake? Where? What in the world's going on here? Still, I'm surprised you were able to get your hands on those. I don't remember giving you that much cash. Hmm. I pulled a lucky draw at the convenience store and won some gift certificates. This is Christmas. <laughs> what kind of luck is that? <laughs> yeah, no more questioning the details. Come on, the turkey and the cake are both delicious, and they pair super well with your coffee, Sojiro. Mm, coffee. Well, I guess I can't complain. It's kind of cliche, but a storybook Christmas like this is nice. <laughs> Can't they ate all that turkey. Sojiro. <laughs> Partied her heart out and fell fast asleep. <laughs> Did all of today's excitement tuck her around? That's a long she day for sure. A kid at times like these. <sighs> Look, I know I already mentioned this, but it's all thanks to you that Futaba's gotten back on her feet. Honestly, I'm grateful for what you've done. I can't do much, but if there's any way I can help you, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> it feels kind of weird actually wanting to act as your guardian. Well, <laughs> you don't have to say anything you don't want to. But remember, I'm on your side. That's all I've got to say. Thank you. I'm going to trust you, okay? After all, a whole lot's happened this year. But things are looking up now. 
so I'm sure you'll be fine. Not only that, we got to eat turkey and cake. And cake. Oh, Sojiro, no. Transform. You can't transform in here. <laughs> A what? <laughs> this girl. What kind of dreams are running through that brain? Transform. The job is still cocked out, so let's wrap up the party. You better help clean, though. <laughs> it's a ding. Luckily, it's only this table, right? All right, what we got? Oh, what? Uh, why is there notoriety going down? He did what? He turned himself into the police. Sis told me yesterday. He's admitted to being the perpetrator behind the recent cases. Meaning he was actually the person who did all these things. He's doing the right thing. So he's alive. Akechi couldn't survive and owned up to what he did. Well, I feel it's for the best. If Akechi kun is alive and he can atone for his crimes, that's not a bad mm. turn of events. Right. Ain't that all stuff to be happy about? Mm-hmm. It's Christmas. We should enjoy the day to our heart's content. I approve. Let everyone be married to the max. Married to the max. I'm the one who should be giving permission, you know. Well, as long as you don't go overboard, I guess you can go ahead and cut loose today. Hell yeah! Hell Merry yeah! Christmas. <laughs> Hey, we yeah. It's like not on the food. <laughs> Thanks. Fine. Oh, what's that? Tower of is that donuts? Oh my, this is quite a sight. It's that block I'm of cheese. To be entirely honest, I wasn't able to bring a dish. Instead, leave the dishwashing duties to me. I'll make sure they turn out beautifully immaculate. <laughs> Why don't we all just clean up together? So, who brought what? I brought that marinated seafood. <laughs> he just grabs with his hands. Mmm! Oh, that's super good! It may not be to everyone's tastes, but I brought that cheese plate. Wait, is it a plate of cheese or just that block of cheese? <laughs> wow! A block of cheese. That smells like dirty socks. <laughs> But it tastes good. <laughs> oh, but it tastes great. Ah, thank goodness. Oh, is this a croquembouche? A what? It's so cute. <laughs> croquembouche. I made that all by myself. All I did was buy some cream puffs and stack them up, though. <laughs> it's been arranged so artistically that I hesitate to sample it. When it comes to sweets, on truly has us beat. But then. Who brought this box over it's here? It's Mona. Ooh, this looks like more sweets. Not mine, by the way. Uh, Ours, Ouija. Kind uh, of. <laughs> about Ryuji Mona would brought sweets? reappear somehow, but Ryuji maybe not. And sweets. 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 Hey, what are you guys getting at? It was just a bit unexpected, is all. I had expected something along the lines meat. of meat. For some reason, chicken. chicken comes to mind when I think of you. Ryuji, chicken. What? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that in any sort of comparative way. Please don't keep going. It just hurts even more. Mm, you're not chicken at all. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> Come on, don't get all depressed. Everyone's here to party. Everyone. Except for Mama. Oh. Or Mona. Mona chan. And Mama. I was trying my best not to mention it, but it's hard to avoid. If only Mona could be here with us. Cat's yeah, here. Oh. Someone call for me? Yeah, we were just talking about <laughs> It's like the book. <laughs> Wait. What? No way! I thought you disappeared! Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. So, you stayed in reality as a cat? When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. I headed back here right away, but it took a surprising amount of time. If you were coming back here, you should have told us, moron! We were so worried! 
<laughs> oh. Sheesh. Well, I brought my own surprise back too. I brought some fried chicken. Mm, chicken. This doesn't have anything to do with your conversation earlier, though. <laughs> Any room left on the table? Oh, now there's our chief for you. Talk about everything falling into place. Come on, let's get started. We're gonna party to celebrate our hard work and my grand return. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Normal. Nah, everyone's really here. <laughs> Greatest Christmas ever. Oh, it's cute. And hey, Morgana's back too. I'm so glad. Gosh, I think I'm tearing up again. Lady Anne, I'm glad to be back too. Morgan's or Morgana's happy as well. Now here's a pic for you, Mona. A nice little post-party snapshot. Oh. Aha, a splendid picture. Yes, yeah, somehow seeing them together puts me at ease. You and him are pretty close by now, huh, James? He's a pet. <laughs> close friend. You say uh, that like you're all grown up now. <laughs> Still, I'm glad to hear it. My guy looks interesting as a cat in the little, like, um, or dialogue form, whatever. Anyway, don't go disappearing again. Got it? I don't want to worry about you like that anymore. Oh, Futaba. That's right. Tonight's supposed to be a celebration. I'm glad I uh, could be a part of it. I know I already said it, but thanks, everyone. I'm glad I got to come back to you. Do I want to save? Uh, let's save over the other save file, the original save file. Maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know what doesn't matter. They don't matter no more. I don't know if there's like other dialogue options or something. I don't know. Uh, we're down to only one day left of the year. I know it's sudden, but oh, we're gonna throw a year-end party tomorrow. Kick ass! Are you organizing this for Tawachan? Thank you for letting us know. Sojuro is making New Year's Eve uh, soba noodles for us. In that case, would it be alright if we meet up in the evening? May I invite my sister? Go ahead, the whole place is reserved anyway. Then should we call Yoshizawa too? Morgana and Futaba already covered it, but she really helped him out in that palace before. And it's New Year's Eve, so it's not like she'll be busy at practice. I agree. Then James, you're officially our event coordinator. It's your, con er, your job to contact her. She'll be thrilled. Alright, see you tomorrow. A year-end party, huh? Excited! Oh, let's invite Yoshizawa right away. Stuck at fifty percent. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, this Although, I admit, I feel camera angle is pretty like cool. Intruding. I think we ever had this camera There's angle no before. For modesty, after all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Yeah, you really helped him out too. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. <laughs> Garf. So it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. What do you think about the scarf? Um, it's unique. You've recognized its unique beauty as well. Uh -huh. I'd say it's a little too unique. <laughs> <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Soggy. Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. Thank you for the food. Me to that game, my ass. Mmm, so good. Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! 
Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill. <laughs> Seconds, please. How fast do you eat? <laughs> you eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do. Yeah, she's, she's a trainer. Awesome. Or she's training. Yeah, well, she is an athlete. I don't know if that fully explains what's happening here. Senpai, don't kid them so much. But what? My appetite's totally normal. <laughs> Breaking news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. Ooh. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. Ooh. For real? For real? And that's wonderful! Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, <laughs> got it? <laughs> what great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. Oswald that ends well. Incredible! It's an actual real life good ending. And after that, the two hour New Year special of Tokyo Vice. Tokyo a Vice. Tale jam packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up. A what? I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model turned actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? Hey. More like that human. Maybe later on. <laughs> that. The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, how of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, hey. right? <laughs> Please don't go there, senpai. I don't think I see that happening. With you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. A fine, fine. <laughs> but I can't do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? <laughs> Uh, so much has happened over the past 12 months, but in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Hell yeah. yeah. I don't have any proof, but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end of year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight, and this crowd is. I really bumping. don't want to get going. <laughs> this crowd is bumping. It seems like it's time. See you next year, right? Next year? <gasps> Sojiro! Oseji time! Get Sojiro! Get those ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Happy New Year! Oh shit, it's already the New Year. Let's make it a good one. Last year's end seems only yesterday. Because <laughs> it was. Should we get together for a party or something? We gotta celebrate somehow. Do you have something in mind? I don't know, I, like a mochi eating contest or something? A prospect absolutely devoid of any class or dignity. I don't know what we do, but I'm totally down to see you all. Same. But not tomorrow, I got plans. Me too, apologies. But any other time, uh, should be fine. Sure, we can pick a date later. Anyways, Happy New Year. We're gonna have a great one, guys. Hey, don't tell this to the others, okay? What? But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious. And being separated from all of you was really scary. I Aww. thought... 
if it's even a little bit possible. I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. <laughs> Welcome home. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. <laughs> Wanna sleep on top of us? Oh. Here we go. It's royal time. Oh, where are we? Dr. Murphy's office. Why are we still in our Where am I? feeling that I need to go home. Why are we in our... Man, this looks like the school. It's in our prison getup. I need to go home. I'm gonna go pee first. Oh. <laughs> Don't let me. My legs feel great. Oh, what? <laughs> For some reason... That was awkward. alongside everyone else on the team eventually i get a hold of some scholarships for college to make things easier for my mom is that ryuji sounds like ryuji doesn't usually stand right here no it's the blue butterfly we gotta follow it a uh, butterfly lavenza we get all our powers back i should follow it <laughs> i know we can't go that way probably Oh, it's Anne. Butterfly. Now, I'm already looking forward to playing the other Atlas games, whether it's SMT5 or the Steel and Codebreakers. Someone's called Soul Hackers. No, Soul Hackers. Soul Hackers. You going? Uh, I'm going home. Home? But isn't this where you belong, inmate? <laughs> I see. Oh, what? Uh, so you haven't accepted it? Uh, well, I won't force you into anything. What? Let's meet again. What? Interesting. I feel like I had the most bizarre dream. What could it have meant? A what? A what? New Year's! Oh cool, that's really cool. They changed the... The cherry blossoms. Were you still asleep, Dream Senpai? Uh... I'm about to go back to sleep. <laughs> How did you know? I was just guessing, but I suppose you did sound a bit sleepy, too. Remember, uh, remember promising me that we'd go pay our respects to the shrine together on New Year's Day? I think. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> great. Well, today's the day if you want to keep that promise. I realize this may be a bit forward of me, but what do you say to accompanying me to Meiji Shrine this afternoon? Fine. <laughs> Are we looking forward to it? I'm so happy. Really? Me too. It'll probably be pretty crowded today, but it, it oughtn't be too bad in the afternoon, at least. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> I must agree. I'll make sure to pray to the gods that it won't be so crowded. Oh shoot! I hope that doesn't count as me wishing before making my offering. Hey, you up yet? I'm counting on you. Well, let's uh, meet at the shrine around noon. I'll see you then. If you're awake, could you lend me a hand? 
Oh. Sorry to make work your first activity of the new year. It's all good. Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. And I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. We're especially grateful you're open today. <laughs> you know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, same old. Same old, same old. Boss, don't you have Boss. any plans for this morning? I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. Customers. How about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? <laughs> That's a wise choice. Happy New Year. Oh, who's this guy? Dudley guy. Right? Who's this guy? Uh, it's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? Well, who are you? Ooh, Futaba. What bam? What bam? Oh, oh, looking sharp. Oh, you look absolutely lovely, Futaba Chan. Futaba Chan. I picked it out with my mom. Oh. Your mom? What'd you say? Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. What? Well, time to make like a tree. What's going on? Here's first shrine visitor. What do you think we should do? Who is this studly guy? Well, perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes. Than maybe we, we woke up in a different reality. Uh, sorry, but I think I'll be getting there sooner than I expected. It was way less crowded than I thought it would be. Did you or did my wish actually come true? Maybe it did. I'll wait by the entrance once I get there. Don't worry, no need to hurry. Oh, she's so sweet. She's like very cordial and all that. Uh, I promise to do something. Oh, come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch yeah, a bug. No catching bugs here. Oh, fancy. That reminds me, I still haven't seen Magana today. <laughs> That's not Morgana. Where could he have gone? Anyway, I need to head to uh, Veggie Shrine. But yeah, so when we were downstairs, it kind of like did that little fuzzy thingy. Whatever. As if we went into a different reality or something. Senpai! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Not at all. Sorry for the short notice. I couldn't send you a New Year's card, so here we are. Well, shall we? <sighs> I wonder why. There aren't many people here at all. It's really unexpected. I'd almost prefer the usual crowd. Yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago. Usually, believe it everybody. Or Only 364 <laughs> days until the next one. That is true, but I know I'm gonna use the wrong year for a while. Well, I have an idea. Wait, who's this studly guy? To help switch gears? <laughs> huh? huh? Didn't expect you two here. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much set up so that we pretty much should romance Kazumi. So we're like, yeah. <laughs> Can there be in one day? And a good morn unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. Oh, what? <laughs> we were hanging out just <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Like, what? <laughs> oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Talk about incredible happenstance. It's fate. Indeed. Destiny. But due to this fortuitous turn of fate, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. Beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa Senpai? <laughs> I'm being awkward. Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. 
So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. <laughs> I have somewhere to be as well. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. Oh, what? I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Well, oh, what? Looks but like she did. Busy. And maybe I should hit up oh, the what? track team and see what they're up to. I wish everyone had a mental shutdown. Well, like, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. Revert it back to normal. I don't know. It's like no one's making any sense. Well, I guess we'll all just go do our own thing then. I mean, Shio's fine, right? Yeah, it's just Futaba and Haru. Mm -hmm. See you later. Talk about dead people. Looks like it's just us now. Oh, I was wondering earlier, what did you wish for at the Shrine Senpai? <laughs> I already forgot, <laughs> but to stay healthy. Now there's a classic wish, but I think it's a wonderful choice. Mm -hmm. And you? And what was your wish, Kasumi? Me? Well... Oh, I'm sorry. Well? It's from my dad. Uh... Telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so Aww. I have to go <laughs> home and spend some time with them. The worst. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family's kind of serious about their get-togethers. We'll hang out soon. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. Gonna meet Daddy. You should hold on to your sleeve. That is He's a nice guy. Kimono after all. Mm. Who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is my senpai, the one I told you about before. My senpai, who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. <laughs> she loves us. D Dad. <laughs> All the time. She has a crush on us. <laughs> Is that I mean, it definitely so? seems like she does. I was told you picked these out for me too. I know it's pretty late for it, but I just realized. All the same. Mm, looks good on you. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, shall we get going? A what? What? A what? Hmm? something wrong uh no nothing well then senpai please excuse us i'm kind of confused i don't have any other plans for today i should head back to my room see if morgana's there oh <laughs> just go straight to bed morgana still hasn't returned I feel like the questionnaire on the fan site has changed too. Mishima? No. Hey, do we have our first dream of the year today? Do we? I thought that was tomorrow night. Is it that big a deal? You'll just have to, your first dream whenever it happens. Hey, this is important. I can't let my first dream of the year be a nightmare. Then it doesn't count, duh. Here, take a look at this. Maybe it'll help you have good dreams. Nah. <laughs> it's the girls. Huh? When did you take this? It was before we met up uh, with you guys. We all bumped, to, uh, bumped into each other uh, first. I wonder who took the picture though. She's probably some stranger. Uh, though maybe we should have taken a full group shot since we were all meeting up anyway. This photo is indeed, or is, good in its own way. Indeed, I believe it will inspire some good dreams. <laughs> Just, but you, you gotta dream of specific things if you want to have a good year, right? Uh, what's the traditional thing again? Mount Fuji, sheep, and okra? Sounds messy. It was Mount Fuji, a hawk, and an eggplant. In that order. But what? Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make myself dream about that. Why? I sincerely doubt you can brute force yourself into dreams. I plan to have a dream of singular beauty. I gotta get to bed anyway. I gotta practice tomorrow too. What happened this afternoon can't be normal. Something is wrong. 
Something is wrong indeed. We get no dream. Dream or nightmare. Oh. I can feel a warm breeze in my face. Oh god. I sense someone's presence. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're gonna yeah. turn into the studly guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Because again, we're like, if I just, you know, look more like this, like, super hot dude, then Anne would <laughs> like him more, but what the heck? What's going on here? <laughs> huh? I was just sleeping. Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what? Who's this woman? Ooh. Was that Futaba's mom? Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. Because, you know, this whole playthrough I've been playing Japanese until late, or like, this past few sections. It is Futaba's mom. These beans are the best! They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. So yeah, so that's why I didn't really recognize. Looks like your recipes have Wakaba. reached housewife level quality. But uh... you trying to get hitched sometime soon? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Still hey, playing the field. Try the sweet black beans. They'll change your life. Good morning. Uh, Swiss lady. <laughs> have we met? See what happens when I say this. Let's see if Futaba says anything. Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? <laughs> <laughs> Trunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. It'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. <laughs> you know me too well. Wakaba. Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Wakaba's Futaba's mother's name. But she's no longer. What's up? Not feeling so good? She's been like this since yesterday. <laughs> Morning, Mona. Are we in like a yaoi fantasy? <laughs> Do you think there's enough Osechi for me to join you? Osechi? Morgana! Was that a question? Of course I'm me. Seriously, are you alright? Something's definitely very wrong here. <laughs> okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. <laughs> Joker's like, <laughs> I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and away. enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal, like a cup of coffee. Boy, that was a subtle request. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. All right, I shall return. Be careful. It's kind of cute though, because you know, since Wakaba never died or anything, then Futaba just never became a hermit, more or less. Wakaba is supposed to be a cat. Uh, Wakaba, she shouldn't be here with us. What's the matter? You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? That was a catchy. Sorry, we haven't opened for the day. Yet. Onto things too. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? With I'll him? Guard over your dessert for you. Oh, what? You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll <laughs> suspect it was an inside job. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know. Don't you? Mm -hmm. We have to discuss this. It's wrong. Do you remember? That's right. Just like you seem to be. <laughs> Come on. You sound so ominous. That'd be really cool if they made another 
Persona that fighting game. I should really actually play the well then, let's try other to one. Through this situation. Other one that's out, I mean. Oh, why are you here? What's happening? That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? But how are you alive? <laughs> you fought tooth and nail to get so, out. My final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... We have greater concerns right now. In fact, I'm a bit offended you think so little of me that you expect <laughs> We left you on 1 HP, what do you say? Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. But you walk? Yes. I was acquitted of all charges. It's absolutely preposterous. <laughs> More than that, I guess she still sounds crazy, whatever. Confessing Psychotic. After only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... Wakaba. That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. Let's say we join forces on this. Uh, what would we do? I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? You're right about uh, the need for teamwork to deal with this bizarre situation. Maybe best to work with Akechi on this. Have you made up your mind? Uh, I guess I don't have a choice. Allow me to remind you that we are equals in this endeavor, understand? Yes. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after... Parting ways with me in Shido's palace. We kill God. I see. <laughs> Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the new year. And all of the phantom thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. We are the trickster. Go ahead. What's happened? Um, I don't really understand what I'm seeing. She can probably see like a palace. It's that building. It's really faint. But I can see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. She Senpai, remembers. I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? Wait for me there. Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe oh, I she said her name. the word palace. <laughs> I hate Akechi's, like, night and, like, I don't know, just his tone is really, like, bruh. <laughs> I guess she spotted one. Despite not being in the metaverse, you're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. <laughs> now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? Yeah, I do like how it kind of just goes right into it. Because, you know... Senpai! And... This other senpai. This is <laughs> not my senpai. We just together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? 
somewhat of the same powers. Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. I'm just a bitch. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um. Mm. He knows. Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seem to care at all about its appearance. Well, these people can see it. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, oh. it's... The meta nav. The metaverse navigator icon is back on my home screen. Oh, what? I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check? Ah, oh, there's one search in the log, but... There's an entry in the search history, but I can't read whose palace it is. Uh, the name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? Infiltration time. That settles it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is whack. Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it. Hmm. Oh, look, your true outfit. True outfit? Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. <laughs> Enough chatting. The Dark Knight. Let's move out. That looks like the Dark Knight. Like. Gear, not gear, but like, um, what's the word? Is there a, uh, it's no velvet room. My persona's still. Oh, <laughs> actually, it'd been pretty cool, actually, if they got rid of all my personas. I actually would not have minded if that was a thing and we had to, like, reintroduce persona things. Uh, before I start, though, I'll go ahead and save. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break. And then we can see what's up with this. Oops. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, we're back. Yeah, so we are now in the royal content of Persona 5. And yeah, we are back in the... Actually, not quite sure what type of building this is, but it's, it's the palace. Or not, yeah, the palace for royal. Joker, there's a chest. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> in case we spent everything on the previous boss fight. Which we did not. <laughs> this place feels uh, different than it did last time. Mm. And that was a few months ago, wasn't it? There could have been a change of heart since then. Do you remember how far you went in last time? Uh, I think it was just beyond that door. That's where Senpai came to help me. I see, so you're only familiar with the area close to the entrance. No. Let's, keep, let's keep going. So happy. So happy. Big parchment. Isn't this wonderful? Liquid Mercury. Hmm. There's so many people here. This is definitely different from the last time we came. Uh, welcome and thank you for coming, patients. Uh, you will be guided to one of our specialty uh, care facilities according to your individual desires. We will assist each and every one of you. Rest assured, everyone can become happy. Should you have any questions about the faculties or facilities, feel free to bring them to our staff members nearby. Hello. Oh, oh what's up? Anton, is that you? Greetings. It is you, Anton. How are you today? You welcome into my stream. I play a lot of kind of JRPG games, like Final Fantasy and such. Where the follow alerts? That is a good question. It's there, but maybe I was was that a break when you uh, followed? Because it's actually up. It's up there. Let's see. Yeah, it might have been when I was on break. Um, let's do it again. <laughs> He's gonna unfollow and refollow. Let's see, did it break? Did my Streamlabs break? Oh. Man, that's more than following, that's scrubbing. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. You know, you get all these silly emotes. Uh, I actually created this one. I call it. The dream juice. It's a secret elixir. <laughs> that bestows all powers. Not as good as this cabin. <laughs> but, feel free to use that to... Well, you know... Quench the thirsts of all other thirsty peoples everywhere. Yeah, I've pretty much been playing a lot of single player games for the past year or so. <laughs> yep. That's all my emotes. Yeah, some of them uh, my friend kind of let me use. Some of the other ones I purchased myself. Uh, that is actually my dog, Simba. You gonna hop on some valor? Let you do your thing, alright? Sounds good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you on Tuesday for some more ball, ball handling. Yes, and that's Simba. He's very old. I think he's 14 this year. So he's really up in there. But he's still lovable. But yeah, I'll see you later. See, what a strange announcement. Become happy. What kind of place is this? What kind of place is this? I knew it'd come true. Yeah, it's my first time playing through the royal part of Persona 5. I've beaten the original Persona 5 back in like... I think 2015, I think. Like second in... Like second half of that year. So if I remember correctly, I was waiting for Final Fantasy 15 to come out. And that's why I beat Persona 5 originally. Um, 
And then it actually took me a while to not only get... Um, oh, there's a reflection of us. Oh wait, the camera's on us. You see that little reflection up there? Um, but yeah, it took me like a year to actually play Royal after me actually having it. I believe this came out two years ago. But yeah, I'm finally playing it. It's somewhere. Definitely a lot of quality of life changes and updates from the original. Made the game a lot easier. Um, for better or worse. Uh, but honestly, I'm here for the story. As much as I do like difficulty and challenge. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Oh, what? Take us to your ruler. <laughs> Leave. You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Peons like you. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? Own pain. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Oh, new shadows. Can do this, right? <laughs> yes, ready whenever. New shadows. Be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Oh, there's two of them. Look I like how they're like jesters. Up. Fine by me. <laughs> Catchy. <laughs> Still psychotic. All right. been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. <laughs> Killing things. Catchy, son. Yeah, she's like, what the fuck? What's wrong with this guy? Now, time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, because he was like, uh, <laughs> you really trust this guy? Persona. Whack. Oh, we got this right gun. We will do right gun. Yeah, catchy is whack. I'm pretty sure I can probably just one shot using this. <laughs> 5k damage, oh my gosh. Ugh, so strong. I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? <laughs> it's like I handled that really well. <laughs> Especially considering the last minute arrangement of our team and all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure joking just solo this whole dungeon. For the most part. Uh yes. So that shadow. It said something about research. And also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? Hard. I seem to have found a map to this place. Oh. Let's make good use of it. Nice idea. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi san. Would you say this is how he normally is? <laughs> like a, a ruthless sort of person. Yeah, he's pretty crazy. Yep, this is just normal. Just everyday Akechi. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? <laughs> say you talking shit? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. <laughs> so I wonder if we have to fight a catchy again, like it's too unhinged for my liking. Chaos undershirt. Wow. Semi hat and robe. We want the repel physical. Yeah, that might be better. This light undershirt. Oh, that's what she was wearing. How oh, about me? I think I still want that magic plus seven. That's crazy. My magic is that so high. Uh, what do I want to give him? 
Did they give back all of our other things? I hope. Oh, yeah, they did. So they took all the other uh, accessories back. I think I'll keep this to double magic. It's too good. Uh, for her, should I get the one that gives us salvation? Wait, what is her level? Maybe I should just give them both the XP stuffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. So they are definitely underleveled. So we get glasses. I wonder if these glasses are the same as TV glasses in a Persona 4. That'd be pretty cool. Um see what other Who's Rin? Oh, Rin from uh Catherine. Nice. Uh, I don't really like that dark suit to be honest. So let's change it. Boss suit. See what that suit is. Nice. Oh, nice. Fancy. Oh, boss from Catherine. Nice. <laughs> I need to go back and play more Catherine, actually. Um, don't want to change my outfit. Uh, oh, this dance wear. Mm, don't really like it. Let's see what else we got. Christmas Shadow Ops. This is what Ryuji's wearing. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. That's cool though. I like the mask. <laughs> I love that Kasumi. Looks exactly like Rin, actually. Like, one for one. <laughs> like, looks like Rin. What do you say? Aren't you going to get examined? I'm on my way right now. So exciting. Oh, can't. I'll reveal your true form. Can't auto kill them, so. Oh. Hmm. Killer Sadie Bear. I do want to catch it, actually. Wait. <laughs> oh, jeez. What about Ketchy's gonna be the one that's gonna be talking to us? Instead of Mona, obviously. So kill. Thank <laughs> you. I'm too strong. You wiped him out. You wiped him out. <laughs> I catch he's too psychotic. All right. Psychotic, sadistic. Excellent technique, Joker. The it's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? S I'm assuming we Still don't I get a velvet room. Kind of sad if that's the case. Let me check. Yeah, there's no velvet room. Oh, if we're allowed to leave. We're allowed to leave. Um. Oh, we can't leave. <laughs> We've arrived. Now, let us depart. Let us depart. Alright, let's try to catch him for real this time. What's it? Cerberus, right? That's a chimera. Deformed Lion God. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to... Back. I think we have to though, because... Our guy's the only one that has elemental stuff, though. So. <laughs> Let me your power. Well, that gun is sure so sick. 
Don't be too serious. Don't be too serious. We hear that in your world, big groups protect animals. They protect animal rights. You not worry you get in trouble if those groups hear what you are doing to me? It's for love. Whoa, love, that intriguing human. Young human, me see you make effort to talk to me. There's something you want to say to me, right? I want you. Let me touch your ball. <laughs> there a line you can <laughs> there a line you not can cross? <laughs> we not have that kind of relationship. Oh. Nice. We got Chimera. I believe that is a like demon we've seen before, but I don't know. Alright, let's get rid of strength. It doesn't really matter. What's that bad in? Well, I guess that had to take a certain amount of power. Okay. I can see it. Mini sound sensor. met him. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom. Wait. Grandma. Is that Kasumi? Yes, she'll be here too. Who is this? I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Or is that his wife? Pretty sure her mom passed away. Why? Sumi's mom. Why? If I remember correctly. Dad. Why? That was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Sister. Oh. Samira oh. Yoshizawa. I remember. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member. And that's why she's trying extra hard to win it. But how was this video? <laughs> what's wrong? I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Oughtn't. <laughs> Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm all right. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? After transferring here. I see. Anyway. Let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. It's somewhere. Should I go the other way? Wait, it's just like an empty thing back there. Like a waiting holding area. Let's see. Have you seen the announcement board, or announcement on the bulletin board? It might be tough at first, but don't worry, there are lessons for beginners too. If you're interested, you should definitely get yourself examined. It'll change your entire world. It's an interesting facility. Kind of seems like a psych ward, which kind of makes sense. Thing. 
a good USB cord. Oh. This place is enormous. What could this room be? Uh. You seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. Focus. Oh. Misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. <laughs> A newcomer. A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? <laughs> I'll what? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. <laughs> I remembered. That demon. Oh, nice gun. Oh, what? <laughs> what? It's not working. Stop rushing into things. Just calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, you're gonna get it killed. This is it. Time your attacks with mine. Uh, right. What, this, do they have a thing jigger with each other? Something else. Brute force won't do anything here. They're resistant to physical attacks. Persona. Fire definitely won't work. I'm pretty sure I'll probably just kill him straight up if I try to attack it. Um, psycho force. Maybe I should take off my magic buffs. Let's do this. <laughs> ah. We're just too strong. I would have to take off a lot of my uh, again magic equipment. Such a fool rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? That's her. So <laughs> Girl with hair and bun. Yoshi's Alwa. To my sister. My younger sister. She should be here in the stadium. But what? Oh, there she is, Sumire. <laughs> Sumire, I did it. Both of us have the same dream to be international champions. Shizawa-san, you're... I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? 
Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now. We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? Directly. As you wish. Here we go. The reveal of the big bad. Head on down. Oh what? to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. See me, are you okay? Thanks for your concern. But I'm fine, really. Let's go. Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? Hey. Your true form. True form. Pow, 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 pow. The is a sad but they're immune to fire. Let's put it on Okay. I can see it. They were too weak to be a threat. Here we go. Is he this palace's? It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Doctor Maruki. Glad to see you're all doing well. <laughs> I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? Yes. A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes. I am this palace's ruler, but in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? You created it? That's right. I have gained the power to alter reality, to make it whatever the people wish for. I didn't wish for this. Is that how you really feel? The old reality was cruel and unfair. The truth is, Yoshizawa-san suffers immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My... past? My Dr. past? Maruki, what do you mean? What's happened to me? All right. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. What? And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. Uh oh. What really happened? just changed your eye level you'll get used to it look you're as tall as I am now <laughs> we practice the same amount uh, but you are the one who always gets first place I can't catch up to you Kasumi you know why because it's my right as the elder sister <laughs> we're in the same grade though oh what they're twins oh, don't be 
so down. Are they twins? We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. Bang. She's not Kasumi. Hey, wait up. She's Samure. Kasumi's the one that people want. Oh my gosh. That's a crazy twist. The light's red. Hey! The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Samure, stop! Listen to me! Samure! And the Kasumi is the younger sister. Well, the Kasumi now is the younger sister. She took over the identity of her older sister. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Kasumi. She got her sister killed. That's crazy. She's not Kasumi. Kasumi? She's no, That's not right. I'm... I'm not Kasumi. That's so sad. The girl named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. It was last spring. Before I started at Shujin, we were walking home from practice. It happened right there. On that street in the video. Dang. I wasn't looking where I was going. I'm pretty sure her hair is red as a symbol too. Me from the car. Of like I was her sister Kasumi. dying. <laughs> I robbed her of her dreams. And even her life. I'm her younger sister. Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. You try to brainwash her? her real name. Whatever. Is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister, but for months now, she's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? I mean, that's what she... Yeah. No, that's how she, uh, introduced herself. Ass. It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, Damn. when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Oh, yeah. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him, if Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi, so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right. Limited as it was, I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. 
I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. <laughs> my work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. Is it that truly salvation? The cruelties of history will vanish, and everyone will live their lives just as they've always dreamed them to be. If you don't call that salvation, then what would it be? You assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... <sighs> I... Believe in yourself. It's impossible. I'm sorry. No. Senpai. I... I can't go back to being her. Oh, no, that's fine. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Oh, she can't be Samira anymore. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? I'll find my own happiness. No deal so far, huh? Uh -uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Not the tentacles. What do you think you're doing with her? I won't harm her. It's in her best interest that you turn back. You've made clear that you reject the reality she desires. The reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa. <sighs> this isn't reality. It saddens me when you speak that way. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. <laughs> A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. <laughs> That's his thing. Uh oh. Oh, we have to fight this time. Uh. Why 
What the hell? I agree, though. It seems we're out of options here. <sighs> Time to fight. Are you ready? Keep up and don't embarrass me. <sighs> The heck? Stop it. Stop it. What's the this? Disgusting. <laughs> We're not here to listen to your bullshit. Shit. What? Cheater. Ha. Ha. A what? Cheater part two. Oh yeah, detox. What? Can I just finish you right here? Give it back to him. <laughs> Pretty much. No. Oh, what? Oh, you cheated. Tia. This just won't go down. We're about to lose a lot of except his mercy. Give yourselves over to him. Did you just quit running your mouth already? <laughs> Joker, I'm going to shut that thing up. Give me a hand. He'll die. Oh yeah. Showtime, baby. <laughs> Why is Ketchy so sadistic? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Executed. Nice. Not bad for an improvised technique. That showdown there. Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Hand them over. Or hand her over. Let us help her. I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go. Look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. Oh, what? We'll meet again one week from today, January 9th. Oh. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. He got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. Let's say we head back for now. That's so sad, though. Dang. I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. Don't worry about Sumeria. I think it'd be suicide to march back in there at the moment. We need our we friends. We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. 
hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. Ah, so this is the reality that Maruki created. There's no point in obsessing over it now. I should go back to my room. <laughs> Boy, why do... <laughs> why is Morgana a dude? <laughs> uh, that's what he wanted, though. Technically. Welcome home, you were out so late. <laughs> it's like, Morgana makes me uncomfortable, to be honest. It's me, I discovered something that I thought I should tell you right away. I called Yoshizawa-san's house to see what I'd learn. They believe she's been at training camp since yesterday. They think Maruki really is changing our physical reality as he sees fit. It's scary. No kidding, this is the first time I've witnessed a power that even comes close to this magnitude. Even the great Phantom Thieves you're so proud of fell in line with this scheme. You're going to see if you can change their minds, aren't you? Well, fine. I suppose we can use their uh, the manpower. We can actually bring them to their senses, that is. Uh, that's wholly dependent on whether or not they're capable of leaving the reality they supposedly are supposedly wished for. I'll focus on investigating Maruki further. You do what you need to. Thanks. Remember what we agreed upon before? We made a deal uh, here. Well, I'll reach out to you. Uh, should anything come up, good night. Was that a catchy? You two seem to be getting along well lately. Hey, so I was thinking, uh, why don't us Phantom Thieves all go to a hot spring together sometime? Then Lady Anne and I can... <laughs> How's that sound? Perfect, right? We should ask the rest of the gang soon. Uh, rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it, Dream Coon. It seems this reality is the one that Morgana wished for. Alright, uh, we ought to hit the hay for today. Uh, the bed may be a tad too cozy for the both of us. Oh well, I'll just start sleeping on the sofa instead. Hey, uh, you're one handsome guy. Are you happy? Huh? Uh, where's this coming from? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm. Uh, I'd say I'm happy. Uh, we used to sleep together. <laughs> Do you like this reality? Like, real? Uh, like reality? Well, it is the one we fought for with everyone else. So, wait, what did, did I mean by? Uh, that doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamoshida's palace, and then when I'm that's when I met you guys. Uh, when we'd go to Mementos, I'd transform into a... I keep thinking it through. Huh? Uh, okay. I got to be useful for humans that I admired so much. Nothing could make me happier. Oh, what was... Sorry, I'm gonna go out and do some thinking for a bit. You should get some rest. It seems all I can do now is wait. Wait for Morgana to realize. And that he's not quite the same. Right, I'm gonna try to get through this a week and I call it a day. Ruby said that your friends are already enjoying it. I should go see them. Where's everyone? Oh, where's everyone? I should look for them while I check out the town. Can I do my laundry? Mm, I can. But now uh, let's talk to everybody as normal. Or normally. So I gotta go to Futaba. There's no time for shopping! Is that Futaba back here? Is Futaba back this way? Futaba should be back this way. Unless we're all getting together. It doesn't seem any different than usual. I'm curious about what the others are doing. Let's go to a different area. Gonna make me go on foot. I 
I smash that? Yongenjaya. Shibuya. 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 Uh, and this here right here. And Oh, real? For real? oh my god, you did it, Shio. I knew you could. It's all thanks to you supporting me, and I really appreciate it. Aw, I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept up your best effort, and now you're finally being recognized. Huh? James, I can't believe it. Over here. Talk about a coincidence. It's been a while since the last time you saw Shio, right? Um... Long time no see, Dream Kun. Do you remember me? Uh... Yes. <laughs> wow, you remembered me. We didn't even uh, get to talk all that much since I transferred to another school, so uh, early into the semester. <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember oh, what with the bragging. I've told him all about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball. Oh, Anne. Sorry you have to put up with all that, Dream Coon. Um. Shiho was the MVP at the big meet the other day, too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anyone else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm just so proud of you, Shiho. Jeez. Oh, you're too much. The two of them are beaming with joy. Uh, it seems this reality is the one that Anne wished for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Shiho's coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that Shujin's the top school when it comes to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back, after more than a little begging. I was so sad when she transferred for her uh, parents' jobs, but all's well that ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect. Are you happy with Shiho now? Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, what does that mean? Of course I am. Uh, do you prefer things this way? This way? I mean, both you and Shio are here and everything is going great. It's definitely better than the alternative, like when we... Wait, huh? I... Something is... I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die. But then I met everyone and... Uh, I'll be waiting for you. Um. What does that... <laughs> She'll still alive even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Huh? Well, I just... Anne, what's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, um, I'm fine. I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Sorry. Sorry, James. I'll call you later. Bye. See you, Dreamkin. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. I guess I'm going one person at a time. One day at a time. What about you, Morgana? Anne seemed happy to be with Shiho, who who is able to continue playing volleyball. But is this truly how things should be? Why don't you check up on the other members tomorrow? We <laughs> gotta meet with Ryuchi today. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. It's Ryuji and Yusuke and... Uh, Morgana's here, maybe he knows where everyone else is. Hey, you hmm. have a minute? <laughs> that voice line does not match uh, the character model. Hmm, are you looking for someone? Uh, Haru, she was thinking about setting up a shop in Kichijoji. She, want, uh, she went to inspect the new location with the president. She sure looked happy for doing a bunch of busy work. Mm, sorry, but is that all you need? I kind of want to be alone. Hey, you have a minute? Okay, it's the same. Dialogue. It's Kichijoji, eh? Maybe I should head to Shibuya. Wait, 
don't, don't I have to... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll just do the new option. Well, I guess so we can skip having to find the Shibuya line and all that. Whatever. Alright, where are we going? Is the use case supposed to be right here? It's no time for shopping. No time for shopping. How delightful. How delightful. Yeah, I'm probably going to Kichi Joji. Kichi Joji, or maybe not. Or maybe yes. Uh, let's go to a different area. Oh, this uh, improved thing with your is pretty nice. Makoto! Makoto's here too. Should I just talk to Makoto? Oh, Makoto. Where's Makoto? Makoto, are you out here? Makoto. Where's Makoto? Wait, isn't she out here somewhere? Makoto. Makoto. Where are you? I said Makoto's here somewhere, I don't know. That's great. Kinda sad the velvet room's not anywhere. So is it... So is Makoto here sometimes? Yeah, it says that Makoto's here somewhere. Yeah, we are ready to do all this. I guess we just have to uh, go see Haru then, I guess. That's fine. Hmm? I feel like I should be able to find her here somewhere. Oops. Here, let me... Run around a little bit. Wonderful. I should have to find her on the map or something. Or what? Yeah. Wait, where is this even going? <laughs> I have no idea. This thing is back to Yongden. Oh, where? Where are we? <laughs> I have no idea where we are. <laughs> oh, we're at school. we at school. There's no need to be at school. Wait, why are we here? So I really want to find where, uh... Makoto is. Where is she, uh? Okay. What else do I need? Hello again. Oh, Jukun, good to see you again. I was surprised to run into you here, though. I'm just picking up some things I'll need for a volleyball club. I'm going back to Shuji next year, so I figure I should get everything ready now. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, I'm just happy that I get to spend time with Anne again. I feel like I can barely wait for April to come. Oh, and I look forward to seeing you more too, Dreamkun. Hope we can be good friends. Oh, where's Makoto? Makoto's out here. Sweet. I'm gonna go in my face. Hello? Okay. Ah. Ah, James, what a coincidence. Nice, I found her. 
We were just doing a bit of shopping. But soon we're going to celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General reward or award. Your dad is Your dad is? Come on, Makoto, you don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember dad telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So what groceries do you, we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what dad would like me to cook. I made eggplant miso soup for your birthday. <laughs> no, excuse me. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how you pestered dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey! Sis, I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. The two of them are beaming with joy. It seems this reality is the one that Makoto wished for. That reminds me. James, uh, what brings you out here? Sorry to keep you like this, by the way. Uh, I came to see you. <laughs> She's like, me? Something the matter? Uh, you seem very happy. Do you think? Uh, yes, uh, you think so? Uh, are you and Sai getting along? Yes, she just as well as always. Uh, even when she's busy at work, she always has my back. I couldn't thank her enough for all the... No, but... Wait, something's wrong. Mom died, so Dad raised us alone. And sis... You're so close. Wait, what are you saying? But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Oh. I just... Makoto, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Sorry, James. Uh, we have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, we'll chat again soon. Hmm. Seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should go. Or I should head home. It's kind of cool, just going around reclaiming our teammates. Let's try New Year's, but I don't have any wishes. Is my dog cute with a Komodo and a Kama? Hey, did your dog... Well, never mind. My New Year's money, I'm gonna use it on mommy, of course. I need my teacher to look over my work soon. My work. Uh, Makoto seemed happy being able to spend time with both her father and sister. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. Okay, who's next? There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. It's got Ryuji, Yusuke, Haru, Utaba. Ryuji? He's been doing great this year. I think he said he'd be doing laps around the school. Uh, you'd think training would be a drag, but he sure seems to be enjoying it. I'm a little tired from thinking too much. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a walk and clear my head. So Shibuya. Um, maybe I should just go ahead and find Haru. Shibuya. Do I remember where I should be going? Oh yeah, this way. Yeah, let's go find Haru first. Or next, I should say. I just talk to this guy for fun. Hey, don't you think something's kind of uh, off about this town? Everyone looks so happy all of a sudden. What in the world's going on? It's almost creepy. I love how the homeless man is kind of like able to see through all it, everything or whatever. Haru is not available today. Taba. Should I just go see Futaba? Interesting. It makes sense that other days people are everywhere else. I love how it's free as well. <laughs> I didn't have to pay for that train ride. 
No time for shopping, right? So this can't buy anything. It's not just lol. <laughs> yeah, everyone does have creepy smiles on. Taba, what you doing out here? Oh, it's Wakaba and Sojuro. Oh, look at Sojuro just wearing that black suit. Whoa there, Futaba, I thought you just came here to buy a video game. It's funny, Sojuro and Wakaba might as well just hook up. <laughs> but, but, can't you feel it? All the limited editions and the gaming gear. It's the store's fault for being a one-stop shopping emporium for gamers. So, Mom? No, ma'am. Do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for uh, additional funding denied. Huh. My case was dismissed. Hmm? James? Oh, well, hey, look who stumbled into us. Come on, hurry up and uh, pick something already. You still want to get lunch after this, right? You know, it actually makes sense that Futaba's not living with Sojuro, because obviously he should be with her mom. So... Uh, we can take him too now. Oh, what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? Uh, Sojuro's gonna treat us all to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my... Really? Really? Then <laughs> back to LeBlanc, people. It's curry time. Uh, you eat that all the time, though. That's because it's the best. <laughs> you really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. <laughs> Thanks for the glowing review. The three of them are all smiling at each other. It seems this reality is one that Futaba wished for. Sounds good, James. Uh, I know you know some or how awesome Sojo's curry is. It goes great with his coffee. Just most cherished dish. Of course, Sojo and Mom work together to improve his flavor, you know. And huh? Uh, isn't this like a beautiful dream? What's that supposed to mean? What are you getting at? Is it a dream? No, but... Uh, you can figure this out. I'll be waiting for you. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on, why won't you just tell me? I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. Huh. What was that? Are you alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be a case of raging hormones? <laughs> Look how serious they've both gotten. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Um, it's nothing. Let's go, Mom. Uh, the curry can't wait. James has still got stuff to do, I assume. Well, see ya. Hey, hey, Putaba, don't just take off like that. Uh, well, we're gonna head on back. Come by for some grub when you're done with whatever it is you're doing. Whatever it is you're doing. It seems all I can do now is wait. I wonder if it matters if we choose one or the other. I guess I should, should go home. I think as long as you have that that flashback, should be fine. Work. I have the day off today. I can't be feeling sick when I get a promotion. I don't remember having fancy clothes like this. <laughs> it's like they're for a night job. What? Huh? You're not an employee here. Come on, I know you were working here last year. Let's take it easy instead of going crazy trying to hit our quota, huh? You're going to work. I thought you quit. Yeah, and all reality is distorted now. Or jumbled, I should say. But I always seemed happy being able to spend her daily life with both her mother so and Sojuro, who she loves very much. But is this how, or is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. That is a interesting, I guess. Um, conundrum or something. Like, should we just let everyone live in this fake reality? No. All right. Let's see who next. Are you looking for someone? Oh yep. Let's go and see Haru this time. I love how, again, all the character models are very similar.
Who is anybody new to talk to? Or like, just someone to talk to in general? Don't look like it. Alright. We're going to Kichi Joji. Where's Haru? All the way up there. No time to take detours. It's no time. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna get to, like, you know, do stuff normally again. We're dead, no! The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The, mo or the research says this community is most interested in high quality ingredients in a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce in a simple but elegant interior. My. Oh, James, I didn't expect to run into you here. Oh, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. Uh, we're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, uh, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Oh, to think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Or are you truly just friends? Jeez, father, don't jump to conclusions like that. <laughs> yeah, calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, were such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away, understand? Oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? <laughs> Haru and her father are enjoying each other's company. It seems this reality is the one that Haru wished for. It's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. Uh, you must truly be a wonderful friend to her for her. Please keep being a good or as good to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father. Oh, uh, would you care to do something together, James? Uh, we have a bit of free time, so we could grab a coffee or something. Uh, he's a great father, isn't he? Thank you. <laughs> yes, he is. Thank you. Although he can be a bit overprotective at times, but he's honest and caring. He really is my ideal father. Uh, has your dream come true? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um. Oh wait, I just... Uh, I'll be waiting for you. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. What happiness can be found through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? Oh, what? That just now. That was... Haru, so what's the matter? Uh, nothing, father. Uh, nothing really. You must be getting exhausted after all this surveying. Uh, why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have the chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Alright, who else left? Ryuji and Yusuke. I take a vacation every year. My family goes with me, of course. Go back home, so you're off to fulfill all your dreams. School, it's really fun. I've made some friends, too. Didn't that store go out of business? Sir, I guess not. Uh, we don't have great sales, but it's fine for me. Haru seemed happy being able to talk to her father without fear. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. Alright, Ryuji. Ryuji and Yusuke. Oh, you have two more days, of course. Until we go back to the palace. Hey. Why you look. Ryuji? Oh, yeah, he's at the school. That's right. She's at the school. What about Yusuke, though? Though I guess I could technically still see 
Play a confidant card. Somewhere. More of these case here. Interesting. I would like all these little. I see that uh, thingy, my Bob. It's right there. But it has all this little electrical currents going everywhere because he's shifted reality. All right, Ruji, can come get you. Just running into his days away. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You mean you got scouted by that college? Pipe down, stupid. It's not for sure or nothing yet, anyway. I'm just saying the school's gotten word of something like that. Or something like that. Still, that rules! And you even made it into or onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about oh, what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you're able to bounce back. No way, man! Aw, uh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get lapped off the team by you guys. Ryuji is laughing happily with the other members of the track team. It seems this reality is the one uh, Ryuji wished for. James, uh, what are you doing here? It's still winter break. Oh, maybe he stopped by to congratulate you too. Man, someone sure is popular. Is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. Oh, uh, that's nice for you guys. How about an extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, uh, why don't you come with us, James? Mm, happy you can run now? Huh? Yeah, of course, but mm, what's up all of a sudden? So your leg's fine now? Hey. My leg? Oh, you're worried about me. It's totally fine, dude. No problems there since that injury a while back. And that was actually Kamashita's fault, so... Wait, what? <laughs> Ain't something wrong here. How do we know each other, anyhow? <laughs> Just like, what? Uh, of course, we w uh, met in front of the station by school, then... How do we wait for you? Huh? Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never! Here goes! Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, the hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. Sorry, I gotta get back to practice. See ya! Hmm. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should go home. Hmm, my little sister's been telling me to fix her PC. She's always been the bossy type. Study abroad? No thanks. I'm having a great time here. You work at a maid cafe? Wow, I never knew, or I never would have guessed with you. Oh, excuse me. Uh, really? It's the best job I've ever had. Have the store tens here always been so friendly? Mm, Riji seems sincerely happy about being able to run with his fellow track team. But is this how, or is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. I'm kind of sad we haven't been to the Velvet Room since everything. Alright, I think last is Yusuke. I remember correctly. Hey, uh, Yusuke, he said he'd be checking out the exhibits at the Art Museum in Ueno. He said it pretty emotional, said something about a piece finally getting a recognition. Maybe you should check it out. James, I think something's wrong with me. Or maybe not. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean to hold you up. Don't mind me. What is it? Oh, wait. Uh, I should have just went to this Shibuya. I wish they gave me the option to go to the main, like, 
City menu, whatever. It's kind of cool though, they make it very nostalgic by making you go through all these different cities like via station instead of fast travel. Alright, Wena. Uh, I can see Yusuke in the distance. He seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Speak to him. Oh, the Sayori. What a coincidence. Ah, you came too, James. I was just thinking about contacting you. Take a look. And my mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. It's on display for this week only, so I'm glad we have this chance to view it together. I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this uh, painting here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Nothing in the world can make me happier than I am at this moment. Uh, you who? Why, my sensei, of course, Madarame. Uh, even after her mother's passing, sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. Yusuke is so happy. It seems this reality is the one that Yusuke uh, wished for. Ah, oh, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei's been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry, you'll even pay for the meal. Uh... This Madarame a good sensei? Yes. Yes, I'd say so, but... What's this all about us, so out of the blue? Oh, uh, where else could that be? The Sayuri, uh, Sayuri looks great there. What else could that be? That Sayuri? That's not the painting's name. No, wait. That seems... Something's not right. I'll be waiting for you. I... What is... Mm, could I be making the same mistakes as I did before? I think that this painting was a source of Madarame's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother uh, won't know of what transpired. It's James, I... <laughs> it's like, I'm ashamed of myself. Actually, I'm sorry, but I'd like to be alone for now. Seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Yeah, it's pretty cool though, just recollecting everybody's reason for everything. <laughs> Again, Morgana being a dude is still it's funny me. to me. It's you! I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. What did you find? First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Mm, he told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. Hmm. Did something happen? It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. Hmm. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was studied his wife. by someone else for their own reasons. That's anyway, wife. that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. Yeah, the only thing wife. that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. Oh. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are oh, both yeah. considered alive by all accounts. They're not dead anymore? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. 
they truly are alive and existing in this world. In so fact, fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. And the Phantom Thieves? They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Oh, what? Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. Mm, what do you make of it? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. Yeah. And I refuse to live like that. <laughs> I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? What about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. Mm, I'll see you tomorrow. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Um, with Akechi to the stadium. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Oh, what? Tomorrow we meet with Maruki. I should go to bed early tonight. It's not like I've been staying up any other night though. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Cause I don't know if that will change anything. Let's just say no for now. You sure you would like to continue the story without saving current progress? I mean, yes. So we can just save again, or like save after the fact. That sounds like the intended what I want. So you came. We came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. I'm sure they'll come around. Oh yes. Oh yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. <laughs> Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. Physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. So. Hmm. Uh, Maruki acts in one day. No. Well. I'll just add this. Yeah, I guess we'll just save. Alright, we'll save. We'll leave this for next time. And if, of course, something wrong happens, we can just reload this other save and we'll be all cool.